Okay, see this back here? That's my milling machine. And I'm just starting to dig into it, getting ready to get the VFD and get it put on here. Um, it's in the mail somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in transit. So this is a Monday and I'm hoping it's going to be a Tuesday tomorrow when I get it. Um, so I know it's going to take me a little bit to get it hooked up because I'm just a, you know, evening warrior, right? Anyway, um, and hopefully all that will be on this video. If it's not, I'm going to split it into a couple parts just to make each one shorter. So the mill that I have here, um, it's a bridge port. It's from the 60s. I want to say it's like a 66 or 68, whatever. It's hooked up on 480 right now, 483 phase um, is the plug for it. Okay. Right. Okay, this is how it was plugged in with this plug right here. All right. So I'm going to try and walk through what I am going to do to switch this thing over. First, I got to switch it to the right voltage um, up here and just make sure things are jumpered out right, I believe. And then I'm going to hook the VFD to this thing in the simplest way that I know possible, okay? So, with all that said, I am not an electrician. I am not an electric, an electrical engineer, okay? Can't even say it. Um, I am just in my shop doing trial and error. And if this works, great. If it doesn't... Um, well, that's going to stink, um, but I just said all that to say, don't follow me as this is a how-to video. You're on your own. I am not responsible for anything that you or you or you or anybody else does. This is just showing this for entertainment, okay? All right, legal stuff out of the way. <laughs> so um, here we go. I'm going to go through real quick how the mill is set up right now and and just show you how it is as it exists before I start, okay? Because a lot of times I see these videos about VFDs and they're putting them on, but they really don't show you what they started with and some of the more intricate details of this. So I think... I think we can do that here and hopefully this works out okay i'm just keeping my fingers crossed i've got this plug on it that's the way it came 480 plug like so all right and i'll just go through here and show you how it is it's got you know your for neutral or your off and forward and reverse switch on it and this right here is my nameplate right there all right so my nameplate and you can see down here it tells you your jumper settings on this side for high voltage. Along the top it says, uh, what is that, 654, 987, and 321. And you can see how the voltage, or how the uh, jumpers are arranged for high voltage, okay? For low voltage over here, same thing, just with a little different jumper settings. All right, same pattern, but the jumpers are all on the bottom from uh, 1 to 9, 2 to 8, and 3 to 7. Okay, and then of course it gives me my details here, which I'm trying to get um, in focus here. My voltage, three phase, you know, amps and whatnot. Okay. So then the first thing I'm going to do is take off a couple of things here because I I didn't know what I was looking at. So take off this screw, set that down there somewhere, take this guy off, slide that off like that. All right. And really this switch with the VFD, I really don't need this switch. All right. Um... I'm kind of debating, you know, I see a lot of people remove the switch and I'm 
I'm sort of thinking that, you know what, I'm just going to leave well enough alone, but we'll kind of see what happens when I actually get the VFD. So then there were four screws on the top here that I removed to remove this and put that down here. And I get down to my really crusty, dirty motor here, which I think I'm just going to clean off a little bit. And I pull out these wires right here. Now, um, this is where it kind of becomes hard to see, but you know, you can see the, the wires going in here, right? And then we've got these wires that are, are jumpered here, okay? And if I look carefully on a couple of these, let's see, which ones can I see here? Um, they got the little tags on in there, okay? That's kind of hard to see, actually. That's a five, it looks like. And five is jumper two. Oh boy. I don't know if I can read that or not. If I put it in here, let me zoom it in once. Um, well, we might have to use our imagination, I guess. I don't know. If I can read that one, let's go over here and see if I can read this one here. Um, of course, a five could have been a two, two also. Okay, this was a five here. Okay, I was wrong. That one, that one other one was probably a two or something. Five and an eight. Okay, five and an eight. And let's look at this other one here. This is a what? seven and a four okay seven and four five and eight seven and four okay so like i say the way it was you see five and eight jumpered together seven and four jumpered together for the high voltage and then of course the other one must be six and nine that i can't read um so i gotta i have to switch those out to this over here. All right, so since I'm thinking while I'm going here, I am kind of of the opinion that I'm gonna take this box off of here um, and just get rid of it. I think that's the easiest thing to do maybe. Because I gotta tie, whoop, I gotta tie um, this one, two, three, wires right now okay this is the one two three wires going in here I got to tie them with each one each of these wires here appropriately as over on the front panel there okay um, so here we go we're gonna take off these things here I suppose they don't just slide out do they I got to take the whole thing right off okay well, I will loosen them up right here. So you can see what I'm doing. All right. So I woggle the camera around, and then I will take them off off camera so I don't drop my. Okay, it was these three right here that I was taking off that go into the motor. I'm going to take those off, I'm going to take these off down here that come from my cable, and then I'm going to take these screws here out, one here, one down there, wherever it is down here, and take this whole thing off. So that's that. That thing came off like so, and I'm just going to take and slap the cover back on it for safekeeping and put my trusty little screw in here and we'll call that a day for this thing and since I am the world's foremost cheapskate I'm gonna take this off and save this cord to reuse uh, to connect this thing from the from the VFD so off this comes Merry Christmas to me. Um, <laughs> my goodies for the mill came in here. So here is my GS2 drive unit. 
uh, my VFD. This little guy comes out, this control panel, so this will mount up on my mill like that, while this main VFD drive will mount in my trusty blue box right there. That's on the floor. I've got a cord for this guy, because that needs a cord when it's separated, okay? So you gotta get a cord. Um, this here is a DIN rail adapter for the VFD, so I can mount it on the back in that panel there. The instructions, I bought the kit, uh, the fuse kit for it, and fuses and some extra fuses just to have. Those things are expensive, man. Um, I bought a fan, so the fan will go in the blue box down there to keep this thing cool in the summer, hopefully. I went to my local Menards that we have around here in Minnesota and Wisconsin and Midwest um, and bought a disconnect box, a uh, plug here to plug it in on the wall because I have plug-ins around here in my shop, a little box to put on the mill, some electrical tape, connectors, which I didn't have, and uh, so I just kind of bought an assortment of those. My mill bits, new mill bits, um, yeah, they're not probably the premium quality bits, uh, China, I suppose, but we'll see how it works. I, I'm not probably going to be super hard on bits. They look shiny to start with anyway, right? Um, then this and this, this is a set for removing an old drill chuck from a bent arbor. A set of wedges, and this is a new arbor, an R8 um, arbor for that drill chuck, hopefully. And a set of collets here, quarter, uh, eighth quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths, and three quarter collets. Miscellaneous items for connecting conduit, a piece of conduit. And uh, I still got a DIN rail coming in the mail. So that is kind of the assortment of, of stuff here that I have to start with to get going on this mill here.